and gentlemen, we got the second story or the third story. Are you? No, you're gonna love this one, dude. Woman okay. calls 911 to stop thermos full of semen from exploding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story. Come on. That's like a story, it. right? I like it. It's <laughs> an awesome story. It's got to be awesome, wow. right? So this is uh, from Tampa.cbs.com. Uh, uh, did this happen in the Navy? No. <laughs> no. They have um, a lot of they have a lot of problems they, with pressurized semen. They do. They absolutely do. They, I've I've heard stories. Felicia <laughs> Felicia Nevins called police after worrying the thermos she was using to store sperm in, sperm and dry ice in for her artificial insemination could have exploded. That's right. She was afraid that her storage of semen that she was going to be using for artificial insemination was going to explode. Why the fuck was she carrying it around? Just live, be patient. Have patience, Padawan. Nevins hadn't even told her family about her fertility journey. <laughs> That's cold. That's literally uh -huh. cold because it's on dry okay. ice. Boom. But she says the sheriff's office posted the story on its Facebook page after the incident. And a news crew showed up at her. Now, I want you to let that sink in. So she calls the police and with her awkward problem. And then the police post the story on their Facebook page. Now, this is when the story gets really good. Really good. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you, are you paying attention? I'm tuned in. The Pasco Sheriff's Office posted a short explanation of what happened using a stock photo of a woman with a disgusted expression. So it's not even her. It's a stock photo of a... Because I mean, this is what you do in your police department. You're like, you know what, man? We got to... What are we doing for Facebook marketing? Oh, I don't know. Hey, didn't we just have a woman with a semen? Let's do something about that. Hey, hey Frank, you know anything about the Facebookery? Oh, Hey, I, I hear if you use funny faces. Hey, let's find a stock photo of a shot. Disgusted. Oh, that's great. Let's do this. So they didn't use her name, but she said there were enough details. Her age, location, and time of the incident. For reporters and curious citizens to figure out who she was by searching public records. I think she got 4chan. She got seriously poor, Jan, is what happened. They're like, hey, man, and right after we, we do the shield buff flag thing, let's find out who the semen lady is. Right? <laughs> right? It's wow. Like a, this one probably would have taken them 10 minutes. I don't know how Re long it took Reason her. number 3,748 to not call the police. Yes, especially. Yes, yes, exactly. When you have frozen semen in your house and you think it's going to explode... Don't call the Don't police. Don't call the police. Just just drive somewhere and just throw it down a quarry and forget it. Or <laughs> or or quit being a bitch and suck it up. Oh They want to smash. <laughs> he did them all. <laughs> ah, but but this story continues. I didn't oh, no. want any of this, she told the Tampa Bay Times. It started on Wednesday after the 26-year-old called the sheriff's non-emergency line because she forgot to remove the thermos's rubber O-ring. Another O-ring incident! This is how the, the space shuttle, which what, which whatever it was, the, the Challenger, which one? Challenger um, exploded? Yeah, because of the O-rings. And now she, she forgot to remove the O-ring. Yeah, it was the O-rings, man. No. That's O ring, son. How Challenger? You, I, I, Challenger? One, one of the shape space shuttles. There was two of them that blew up. There were a lot more than two that blew up. I just only tell you about two. Oh, yeah. Actually, none it's of them blew up. They were all false flags. They were all holograms, actually. Hologrammatics. That's what they were. Yeah, because the Earth is. Would. Well, if you look at our new model of the Cat Earth. Oh, we're going to get to that, by the way. We have We're a future get episode Earth. on Nepa coming up about the Cat Earth. And it the ties Cat Earth. perfectly into Hanna-Barbera. Absolutely. It all makes sense. But that's another story. So she said a deputy... Josie and the Pussycats? 
I'm just going to continue with the story. Sorry. You should I play the excited. Monster Mash song at this point. The there we go! He did the Monster Mash. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's okay. enough. That's enough Clarence. She said a deputy and firefighters arrived, took the thermos away, and safely opened it. She said they were kind and didn't tell her nosy neighbors what happened. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they I, did. I, 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 <laughs> I think I cut it out here. I'm see if I can find it here. The the police said something to the effect that it was hey, man, hey man, we're just trying to we're just trying to do some social mediaing there. That's all. You know, we're just 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 trying to do some social mediaing there. That's all. Where if I can find this. Uh uh after the Facebook post was uh, by the sheriff's office a TV crew appeared. Okay, great. The sheriff's face Facebook page was shared more than 200 times by Friday. Dude, that's nothing. 200 times, that's nothing. The, yeah. the sheriff's office has said it's part of its social media strategy. We attempt to show every day what our officers see in calls, and we are very, we are a very open agency about the type of calls we see each day. This is this is about justifying their pitiful existence is what this is. It's like, yo man, your taxes are going. We don't just we don't just pull you over and ticket you for speeding and stop you from selling lemonade. We also protect you from exploding thermoses of semen. Frozen semen. Frozen semen. I don't think it matters if it's frozen or unfrozen. Se semencicles. Semencicles. We, semencicles. Just you know, insert. Without, without government, who will protect us from semensicles? <laughs> I think that's the end of the story. What do you say? Wow. Yeah. You I hope, more to add? Wow. I can't. What the fuck? You ain't got nothing more to add to this. This is your only chance. I'm about ready to shut this down. Go he, did <laughs> he did the monster man.